Hey folks, Leducium here, and welcome back to another Let's Play of Nexus Wars. We're loading up, it's Saturday afternoon, so we'll see how the match goes. Good amount of people on, so... So we'll see. I do think time of day affects the match, because, you know, if you play in the middle of the night, you're gonna get... the folks that are playing StarCraft in the middle of the night, so... or folks from uh, other parts of the country, or other parts of the world. I'm on the East Coast myself, so usually uh, I we do get Pacific players or uh, West Coast players on because they're three hours behind, but still, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just babbling on, babbling on, babble on five. It's all right, show. Uh, what are we doing? We are going up top. I'm playing orange, all right, so, okay. Get it figured out, decide who's going where, stop lagging. Uh, is this guy around? I hope he's around. Alright, what are you gonna build? Uh, gonna build Toss, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna build Terran. And I'm gonna build up here. Yep. Let's start with... We'll do two Marines. Yeah, whatever. See what happens. Is this guy building? Alright, he's going Terran. We got Terran and Terran down here. What did he build? He built a Reaper. He built, build, built a Reaper. Built that he built. Build, build, build. All right. So uh, what's going on? So we've got two Marines down here. Plus the Reaper is going to spawn. The Reapers are pretty quick, so they're going to catch up to the Marines. They're somewhat tied together uh, in terms of spawn, which is a good thing. And what are we fighting against? We have Zerg down here. What about up top? So we've got a couple of Zerglings and a Zealot. So we got. Zerg and Toss up top, we got Marines and uh, Terrans, well Terrans down here on our side and we've got Toss and Zerg here as well. So we've got Toss and Zerg, Toss and Zerg combinations and we have uh, Protoss and Terran up top, Terran and Terran in the bottom. And I'm waiting until I get enough minerals to build a Marauder because I don't see any point in building anything else right now. Maybe a Hellion or a Firebat if he, Zerg keeps on going because those are great against Zerg. But uh, at the moment, so he's going Roach. He's not trying to rush down Zerglings or something stupid like that, which is a good thing for him uh, or for Yo. the guys up top. Uh, let's see. So maybe I'll build a Hellion just to see how things go. We're going to need a Hellion anyways. Uh, we don't have a choice there because yeah, yeah. we need them in order to build bigger units or better units. So might as well build it now. We just got two income from that kill, and he's building some sentries. All right, what about the bottom? So we've got more Reapers here. I hope he doesn't try to spam Reapers. I don't think that's a good strategy. I personally wouldn't do it. We'll see what he does. Uh, what's our Toss player doing? More Zealots. I don't know if that's a good idea either. I don't find Zealots... They're all right in the early game. Later on, they're... Like most early units, they're completely useless. They will get destroyed by everything else. Uh, right now, might not be a good idea. I mean, right now, might not be a bad idea, especially with the sentries out here. Uh, there is our Hellion, gonna cause some damage, and what else am I gonna do? I could build a medevac, support the marines, get possibly flying units, or I could save up for a siege tank. I kinda wanna save up for a siege tank, it will definitely cause a bit of chaos here. Uh, the sentries' shields will reduce the damage a little bit, but that's alright. Um, and we're doing pretty well, so we're still pushing right now, so I could save up for a siege tank. We have that kind of flexibility, uh, and that is what I think I might do. What about the bottom? Bottom's got more Marines. I hope he... Alright, at least he's not just going Marines. He's is uh, building some um, Marauders as well. I don't like the strategy of just stacking Marines. Again, uh, it could work early game for a little while. My cousin to waste the nuke, but it's too easy to counter. A good, uh, a good uh, Colossus will take that out, no problem. So we are getting pushed back a little bit. I am going to build, here we go, 150 minerals. I am going to build a siege tank. Get that going. Get us back on top. All right, so uh, how are we doing down here? We've got the uh, Reapers. Reapers are... Reapers get killed pretty easily, but they can do a good amount of damage, and they are. I think they still do a good amount of damage for more damage versus buildings, so if you can get them over to the other player's base, I think that's a good idea. I'm not 100% sure. Of course, I'd have to check on that, but... All in all, um, they're doing alright. They are getting pushed back a bit. We might have to help. 
up top we are holding our own and the siege tank's gonna come out and the siege tank is going to really help out so while that's happening let's go down here uh, we'll teleport using the G key if I hold G I can teleport and we'll see if we can help out in the bottom I can't cross this magical invisible line uh, but we'll come back to that in a sec how are we doing up here where's my siege tank there it is uh, so keep going he's got a stalker siege tank we'll help take care of that not a problem if he builds more stalkers I'm gonna build some marauders to counter and let's see if we can damage some of these units just to help out uh, here we go, Siege Tank's kicking ass, there it goes, and we're doing alright on the top. Bottom's a little bit flaky right now, but nothing to worry about, it's still way too early in the game. It's to the point where our actual builders can help out and actually do some damage. So there we go, I'm gonna see if I can attack that sentry, weaken that a bit, help out. We've got 165 minerals, I am quickly gonna go up here and build a crystal as soon as I can so that we... Uh, don't have to worry about crystals. We get more income. That is important. Very important. Here we go. Crystal right there. And let me, let's go back down here and see if we can help. A bit more. What about up top? We're on a roll up top. Of course, uh, they can stop this with a cannon easily. This is not that big of a uh, big of an advantage. And our Marines, he's building mutilists. I hope he doesn't go air. If he does, I'll counter. And uh, we're doing alright down here. We're pushing back, so that's okay. I think we're doing alright. Yeah, looks like. So back to the top. I'm going to build more units. We've got our uh, crystal earning more income. What's my income at right now? 40, which is good. It's better than the rest of my team. And it's not quite as good as the other team. We do need to get our income up for everybody. Uh, what am I going to build next? So we're pushing ahead. We're doing well. Uh, he is going air somewhat. Yeah, yeah. Let's build the medivac just so we have it. Again, we got a little bit of breathing room, so let's take advantage of that. And in the bottom, we've got a good push going too. So uh, they are pushing back up top. So me building the crystal is slowed down the build, the unit build, of course. But you know what? It's going to slow them down overall. They're going to have to fight it off. It's, we bought ourselves some time, enough time to build more units. So what am I going to build? I can build a Viking. Is he going air? He does not look like they have that much air going, so uh, he's just got... Oh, he has a few mutilists. All right, let's go anti-air. Let's put down a few Vikings. Uh, can I put him in the middle here? I can. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to take the middle. At least not yet. Let's throw down one Viking, and then uh, maybe another one in a minute. Uh, but it'll help hold off the air. And really, I don't need to do too many Vikings. If I want, I can hold off those mutilists with a couple of Thors. And he doesn't have Immortals, which is a good counter for Thors, because Immortals uh, don't take more than 10 damage at a time. So uh, he's going Stalkers. And Stalkers, I think Thors will be a good counter. So would Warhounds. Warhounds or, or Thors will be a good counter to Stalkers. And of course, Zerg. Uh, Thors are always good against Zerg. Yep. And then we can do something else there as well. So let's save up for a Thor. I'm going to wait till I get 300. I'm going to lay one down and we'll see what happens. If I need to go anti-air, I can always go anti-air. If I need to lay down a cannon afterwards, I'll have some money to do that. Uh, but they are getting good momentum going, of course. I do have 50 income, which is pretty good. Better than uh, most... Well, no. Everybody proxies really doing bad on income. Here we go. Here's a Thor. It'll increase my income a good bit by six, I believe. Nope, by 12. So I'm now up to 62. That's fantastic. And uh, Brad has 63, which is also great. So now let's save up for a cannon just in case. I think the Thor. Whoa, that's a lot of mutas. Okay, I'm gonna need more anti-air now. Uh, well, first things first, we're going to need to cannon, and uh, I am going Jordan. to have to tell everybody to help me repair the cannon. Communication is pretty important in the game. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and cannon and help prep uh, top. So we got two cannons. Perfect. So we'll be all right. Uh, the Thor is going to come out, really going to kick some ass. Thors are fantastic. Air, ground. They are just wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful units. And I can repair them if I want to. Right now, uh, I'm going to repair the Thor a little bit because the cannon's not that damaged. Although now it's starting to get damaged. Not to worry, we'll be able to hold them off, I feel. Just need some units. There's my anti-air. And we are repairing the cannons. And as more units come out, 
Uh, we are going to kick some ass. So here's my Viking. It's uh, getting past, and of course, of course, they're pushing more units as they go. But so are we. And here comes more air, which sucks. But uh, the Thor is out. Let's repair this. Can we repair that cannon? Yes. Don't die. Oh God damn it. Uh, we lost the cannon. That's really terrible. Uh, I am going to lay down another cannon. I think we'll be all right with another cannon. I do not want to. Uh, if I can avoid it, I do not want to use a nuke. So I'd rather we use a Thor and we just attack and repair the cannons up here. And I think we'll be able to do it. It is a little shitty. It is a... Uh, and the reason, part of the reason I think is because they have to repair bottom. No, they're going to have to nuke at the bottom. There they go. That sucks, folks. That sucks uh, for our team. But here's the one Thor. Here's another Thor. I'm going to lay down a third... Well, not a third Thor. I'm going to lay down another Thor, uh, which is going to help push. And that's going to be enough to push him back. We already have enough to push him back. I'm just laying down another one to increase income and push him back some more. Now, as soon as I get 250 crystals, I'm going to upgrade this. And they had to nuke the bottom, which really sucks. And that's why they couldn't help us repair the cannons up top. And so that is terrible. Whenever you have both uh, top and bottom get uh, overwhelmed like that, it's really bad because then you can't uh, repair both. You have to split up your workforce and that kind of stinks. All right, now that we're pushing, let's wait till this store completes and then I am going to um, time them so they spawn at the same time. How's the bottom doing? Bottom's doing all right, I guess. Lots of siege tanks. I don't know if that's the right move, especially he's got Broodlords. Of course, they need anti-air, but Broodlords has got a little bit of anti-air going. Uh, not too much. We're doing all right down here. He's going stalker for stalker. My Thors are going to kick some ass here. Here they go. Uh, Thor is a good anti-air. He's got blink on his stalker, so does he. Uh, but that's okay. Let's uh, get some Thors going. Let's get some more Vikings. More Vikings uh, up here and then another Viking over here. So I think I wanted to update the crystal, but I'm not going to be able to because they are putting up quite a fight over here. So And we did lose a, a cannon, so we lost some income there. And they gained some income for killing the cannon, which is not great. So... Uh, he's got some anti-air there himself. Not too bad. We'll kill that pretty easily. And our own anti-air is coming out to uh, harass his, which is good. And uh, and more, more Thors. So that's what I'm going to do. Actually, I'm going to lay down some Warhounds. I think Warhounds are good against... Uh, against uh, They're good against vehicles, and I think Stalkers count as vehicles. So we're going to do that, see what happens. There go my Vikings. I am going to time them. It's a little bad timing for timing the Vikings, but I think it'll help me out. It'll help get rid of his anti-air if mine are timed together and his uh, mutas shouldn't be uh, too big of a problem. I think we can keep, I think we can do this. No, uh, see, we would have been fine. You don't nuke if you have active cannons. Uh, terrible. Uh, anyways, we'll see how this goes. You do not nuke Here's a tip, folks. Don't nuke if you have active cannons. That means you still have a chance. Once you lose your cannons, or once you know you're going to lose your cannons, then you nuke. But while you still have cannons around, there is absolutely no point in nuking. You're just uh, wasting a nuke at that point. So, guy nuked. I don't think he should have. Uh, and I can't upgrade my crystal right now, but I'm going to as soon as I can. I'm trying to get my income up. Look at their income. Their income is 161, 140. Mine is uh, 110, his is 137. Red is doing terrible. Blue is doing pretty bad. So we're getting killed on income, and income is really the name of the game in this case. Uh, so we'll see how we do, but I don't have a good feeling about this. I'm not going to give up. I always play games to the end because uh, I'm stubborn, and I don't learn my lessons easily. So let's keep going. All right, 515. Let's upgrade the crystal. Let's see what else we can do. We can't do much. Uh, I can go over here, but there's not much there. Let's check what's happening in the bottom. The bottom's a bit of a chaotic mess. Uh, looks like they are pushing bottom back. I don't know. He's building Warhounds, and I don't know if Warhounds is going to help. Uh, maybe against Colossi, maybe against Immortals. Lots of siege tanks. We're doing okay up top, though. We're pushing the Thors. Our monsters, and the Thors are going to push. Plus, we got a bit of anti-air going, so the Corruptors are going to get killed. Where's my anti-air? Here come the Vikings. They are going to do their own thing. I'm going. And help out quite a bit. I am going to build more Vikings because uh, we do want to make sure that we have air supremacy. And uh, that is what we're going to do. We're going to build more Vikings and then I'm going to build a few more Warhounds to take care of all those stalkers that he decided to build. 
So we'll see what happens there. And then I think I'm going to just stick with Thors. So one more Warhound, then Thors. Uh, let's sync these up if we can. Yes, here we go. Not too late. Boom. Sync them up. And uh, can we sync up these uh, Vikings? How close are they to getting built? Some of these are pretty close. I'm going to wait till another wave of Vikings spawn, and then I am going to sync them up, so make sure they all spawn at the same time. That is going to help tremendously going forward, so let's go. Come on, Vikings. Here we go. They just spawn. Boom, 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 boom. And synced up Vikings. All right. My cannon is upgraded, and now we... I don't have enough for another crystal upgrade. That's 900. I could wait, but I think I'm going to build more units. We do want to make sure we are constantly building units and pushing him back. Here's another Thor. Uh, and here's another Thor. And in a moment, I'm going to th sync these Thors up too. So uh, here we go. Thors. Sync. Good. All right. Let's go over here. Bottom's getting pushed back pretty badly. That's not good. All right. Let's go help see if we can help repair. If they get a cannon set up. I don't want to spend my cannons, but if I have to, I will build a cannon. In fact, it looks like I'm going to have to because they don't have much of anything else built, so I'm going to help, but this is going to get destroyed. They're not upgrading their cannons, which is terrible. At this point, upgrading this is a waste. They need to nuke. Uh, I guess I have to tell them to nuke, but come on. What are you doing? Hello? Anyone? This is not good. This is terrible, in fact. Bad Bad Jojo. Bad Mojo. Ah, uh, fine. Alright, I'm, I'm... I'm using my nuke to, to, uh, to keep the bottom going. It's not good. At this point, we're gonna lose, uh, unfortunately. Hate to say it, but it looks like there's no way we can come back from this. They just basically uh, let these things guys through. I don't know what the hell they're doing. I don't know why this guy's income so low, why he is doing so poorly. But it is looking like we lost bottom, so there's no... It doesn't really matter how well the top's doing or how well we're doing up there. We completely lost bottom. I just used the nuke. I know we have nukes left. These guys have nukes left, but they're not using them. So it looks like uh, they are waiting for us to lose. Uh, so I hate, I hate when this happens. This is what happens when you get pickup games, of course. You never know how big your other teammates will be. Or if they're going to try, or maybe they'll go away from the keyboard, make themselves a snack. Or, I don't know, take a bathroom break. Who knows? In either case, it's not looking good for us. We are definitely going to lose this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, somebody's building a cannon. It's not going to do any good. We lost too many buildings. We've lost way too much momentum. We're not going to be able to nuke this now because they're just everywhere. And, uh, yeah, this is the end, folks. So, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I wish this could have been a better playthrough, but unfortunately it was not. So... Uh, if there's anything to be learned from this, uh, don't stack Reapers and uh, don't stack uh, Siege Tanks, of course. Sometimes stacking Siege Tanks works. Uh, yeah, Thors are great, but not in this case. And uh, are we pushing him back? We are pushing him back just a little bit, but it's not going to matter. We use the nuke up top here. So, I mean, I can upgrade this again in a moment, but whatever. It's not going to... I'm going to keep playing, but you know what? Not going to... Not going to help when we've used up all of our nukes and all of our resources and we lost so much and this guy's income is so terrible. Uh, and these and our opponent's income is so much better. So really not much we can do. Let's build another cannon up here. Let's upgrade the cannon. He hasn't quit. He's got a very poor 7 to 13 loss win ratio. What am I? I'm a 47 to 58 win loss. Uh, which is actually, I don't think is correct because I think I had many more games under my belt. I'm not saying I had better win-loss ratio, but I definitely had more games. So you built a Kerrigan trying to hold these off. Not going to help. Uh, we're doing our best. Not much we can do. Look at that. Look at the top. Uh, now, now he uses a nuke. Now he uses a goddamn fucking nuke. Uh, can you tell I'm pissed off? I am pissed off because... That is just terrible gameplay on his part. I don't know what the hell he was doing. I don't know where the hell he went. Not much we can do at this point. No nukes. We can try to speed up construction a little bit. I can chrono boost these buildings. See if I can uh, make these things a little faster. Where's my W key? W, W, W. But even faster constructions, faster cannons aren't going to help us. So we are done for. Uh, let's go game again. I think I already good game. 
Uh, but let's do it one more time and let's just watch us lose. So Mox knows what's going on. Mox is already ahead of the curve. Fedor's Kerrigan has been killed. Who the hell is Fedor? That's red. Uh, so he lost his Kerrigan and uh, we are done. So that's Nexus Wars, folks. It's a tug of war game. It's a lot of fun. You build units, you counter the other players' units. So you got to be quick. You got to have pretty good actions per minute. Got to watch your income. Got to break crystals. Got to make sure that you're watching everything that's going on. You got to watch the other team members as well. Make sure that they're able to keep up. If you can help out, go and build a cannon or go and attack their units. You try to do that. You can use the Nexus here to uh, chrono boost and to do a certain things to help increase. Uh, uh, construction and to help uh, fight off the enemy team but of course when you lose you lose and we lost so unfortunately this is the end and the Nexus is almost dead and here it goes and it's game over thanks for joining me folks I hope you tune in next time if you like the game please leave a like or subscribe it helps me out and tell me if you want me to cover any other maps any other Starcraft uh, games or any other games at all I'll be glad to uh, to play them and commentate and tell you what I think